Hi everyone, now in this video I'm going to explain you how this SPA uh, pressure switch is working. So normally you have seen that pressure switch is installed to the, your water system to control the pressure inside your water system. So what basically pressure switch is does, it's control, the, it's control the electrical supply to your water pump. So uh, normally you have seen there's a two types of pressure switch like uh, basically you, there's a two types of pressure switch one is like a mechanical pressure switch one is like a electronic pressure switch so this is kind of electronic pressure switch but it's, it's still using like a mechanical spring loaded uh, diaphragm inside to calibrate the pressure inside so which means this is kind of electronic and mechanical combination pressure switch so first of all i will explain you why pressure switch is required for the your water system so in order to keep up the in order to control the pressure inside your water system that you need to use some kind of uh, method to control your uh, water pump which mean on and off uh, which mean uh, control the electrical supply to the motor to the pump so uh, that is the reason that you have to use the pressure switch the control uh, control the electric uh, control the motor depend on the pressure inside the water supply so uh, in the mechanical pressure switch normally you can adjust the pressure which means the start pressure and stop pressure so for example if you need to use like if you need to adjust the pressure like 50 psi inside your water system depend on your plumbing so depend on your requirement that you can choose which uh, which size uh, pressure switch you need so mechanical switch you can adjust uh, uh, in some range you can adjust the pressure uh, which means the on and off pressure so for example if you need to adjust like a 50 psi the maximum pressure and 30 psi like a, a minimum pressure what it uh, uh, what it happened like uh, when the pump is pressurized uh, the water to the water supply uh, when it reached to the 50 psi the pressure switch is uh, cut off the electrical supply to the uh, motor which means it's continue the 50 psi pressure inside the water supply so once uh, when you take out the water which means if you open any uh, portion what will happen the uh, that uh, when you take out the water what will happen normally the the water pressure is uh, start to drop when the pro water pressure is uh, drop below the 30 psi what will happen it's again so attach the electrical supply it will give the supply to the motor uh, to start the motor which means once if you continuously take in the water it will control the pressure between 30 and 50 psi when you close the uh, force and which means when you stop the taking the water what will happen it will again reach to the 50 psi then water supply uh, the pressure switch is cut off the electrical supply to the motor the motor will stop the inside the pressure uh, inside the water system it will stay like a 50 psi uh, pressure so that's normally how pressure switch is working that is how uh, like a mechanical pressure switch is working so in mechanical pressure switch normally you can adjust little bit the, uh, the some range of pressure you can adjust like uh, mechanically adjusting by the spring load so in in this case here this is uh, this is like a electronic pressure switch so normally you cannot adjust this uh, pressure switch that you have to choose the uh, motor and the pressure switch depend on your requirement so in this example here you can see this pressure switch can control up to 10 uh, 10 bar so this is the maximum working pressure of this uh, pressure switch so also i will explain you uh, what this pressure tank is does so normally you know that uh, liquid you cannot compress the liquid so which means inside the system that even you take little amount of water the, the motor is start to run because you cannot compress the water so when you take out the little amount of water the pressure is quickly dropping so the motor will be uh, start so in if you install this kind of uh, pressure tank pressure vessel what will happen there's a there's a two compartment inside that uh, separate by the completely separate by one uh, like a bladder inside like a rubber bladder so one side is air one side is water so uh, as I told you before, you cannot compress the water. So what will happen when the motor is working this side, it's uh, pressurized the water. Then this bladder, because this compartment here is pressurized air. So what will happen that bladder is, they compress the bladder. They, the bladder is working as like a temporary, like a, a spring loaded, uh, like a spring loaded pump. So which means when you take out some kind, some amount of water, 
so the blood the this air pressure is still giving the uh, pressure inside uh, this air pressure is still push the water so which means still uh, keep up the pressure between the uh, on and off pressure inside the uh, uh, water system so this uh, that is the basically what uh, uh, pressure tank is does but i will explain you later this one uh, more properly in my uh, another video so as i told you before this is kind of electronic pressure switch so we cannot adjust the pressure this one you need to select as your requirement that which kind of motor you are using then which kind of uh, uh, pressure you need to uh, keep inside the, your uh, water system so here you can see this is uh, the working pressure is up to 10 bar now you can see this one is like uh, around 3 bar so this uh, electronic switch what it does it when you on this one first time the it will uh, uh, run few few seconds like uh, maybe few times so it's uh, it's automatically adjust the pressure which means the maximum pressure that can pressure by this motor by this water pump it will automatically adjust the pressure which means cut off pressure and uh, motor restart pressure so once this one automatically adjusts it's it stay that uh, it's memorized that pressure which means on and off pressure it's memorized inside this uh, small pc board so when you take out the water so when the pressure is dropped maybe around two two bar what will happen the motor is uh, start to run motor is the pump is start to pump the water then when it's reached to up to 4.5 around 4.5 in this case around 4.5 so it will uh, stop the it will cut off the electrical supply it will stop the water pump that's how this um, electronic pressure switch is working so here i have uh, another uh, same uh, pressure switch so i will uh, i open this one then i will show you the inside there's a small pc pc board inside here then you can see there's no any uh, any mechanical uh, switch that control this uh, uh, pc board so here you can see there's a relay inside then this pc board doesn't have any like a mechanical directly contact with the water pressure okay now you can see here this is the one that uh, the calibrate the pressure which means depend on the pressure inside here which means this is directly uh, directly connected to the motor which means the, to the water pump and this is the out so this inside here there's a spring loaded well here so that that spring loaded well there's a small like a kind of mag magnetic sensor here this magnetic sensor moving from uh, up and down depend on the pressure so this pc board here it's detect the it's detect the movement of that magnet sensor it will uh, automatically memorize that uh, how far that how uh, how far this uh, magnet sensor can move depend on that uh, uh, depend on that movement that the this automatic uh, th this pressure switch is memorized that uh, the stop and on pressure uh, to the uh, water pump so the pc board is control the uh, electrical supply electronically uh, to this water pump so i hope you understand my point that so that's how uh, this electronic pressure switch is working so as i told you before this uh, pressure switch is control the pressure the memorize the pressure de depend on the movement of this uh, spring loaded valve inside so also i will explain you what this uh, reset button is does so uh, sometimes when you own this one in, in first time if your tank is uh, doesn't have water or sometimes after you fill in the water so when you start this one it will uh, try to uh, run few times if the pressure switch is not detecting on and off pressure which means it's not detecting properly the stop the maximum pressure maximum working pressure and the minimum pressure so uh, what will happen it will uh, start few times but if it's not detect exact uh, which uh, pressure range it can uh, control the pressure what will happen it's automatically uh, stop the procedure it's automatically cut off the electrical supply to the motor for the safety so once it's uh, calibrate uh, on and off pressure properly so it will work uh, properly so the 
that kind of situation you can push this uh, button so what will happen it will restart the system restart the procedure so until uh, it's uh, calibrate the exact uh, on and off pressure now you can see if I push this one you can see the motor will be start and pressure will be reached around maybe four. Now you can see it's reached around uh, 4.5 bar. So that is the maximum pressure this uh, pressure switch can, uh, this pressure pump can pressurize to the water system. So the here, as I told you before, the pressure switch, this kind of pressure switch cannot adjust the pressure, which means that it's automatically adjust the pressure depend on the pump and depend on the uh, water tank uh, location. So that's how this pressure switch is working. Okay, that's what I need to explain you today. I hope you get an idea and you can uh, leave the comments below and uh, please subscribe my video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.